Hello YouTube, this is Rax425 coming at you with another review video. This is the MMO Tournament Edition mouse. Is this the mouse for your MMO gaming needs? So well, like I said, let's find out. Cats MMO Tournament Edition mouse. Uh, this is a pretty awesome mouse from what I've used. Is it the best mouse on the market? Probably not, but um, because I've heard people say that the Razer Naga is better, um, there's a couple of other mouse out there. There are a couple people that use that I know use MMO7 mouse uh, which I came from the MMO7 to this which this one kind of bought me over because it's got 12 programmable buttons you can put your whole entire hotbar on this mouse and it can, it's got three different modes up to 60 programmable keys it's got an 8200 DPI sensor it's got four different modes for the DPI so you can slow it down and speed it up at will of course it has all sorts of buttons um, the only thing that I don't like about this mouse is the fact that it, you can't adjust everything on it like you can on the MMO7. You can only adjust the palm rest, so that kind of makes it a drag. Uh, wish you could, wish you could have had the option to adjust the rest of it, but you can't. Um, I miss the pinky, the pinky rest tray. Uh, that was just a feature that I liked. I know it's, uh, it seems picky to say, but I just really like to have the pinky rest. And the fact that you don't have any weighables in this mouse. This is this mouse is super light. There is nothing in this mouse that's going to make it weigh down or make it seem heavy. This mouse is super light. It's completely plastic. There's no metal parts in it whatsoever. MMO7 had a weight system in it, so you could add weight to it or take away weight from it, which made it seem like a heavy mouse, made it seem like a sturdy, reliable, and high quality product. Frankly, I liked that a little bit better but the convenience of this mouse kind of wins it over from the little peccadoos that you know that didn't port over to this mouse that the MMO7 had um, the convenience factor of having up to 60 programmable buttons is super convenient especially when you're playing a game like MMO Starcraft Diablo 3 whatever other kind of games that you're uh, playing on an MMO base of course this not only works with MMOs but it works for pretty much any kind of game that you could imagine on the PC um, but without further ado let's go all right well this out. is it this is the MMO tournament edition mouse it has 12 programmable keys on the side of it which is pretty fancy and it's and it's pretty comfortable actually in the hand so whenever you're uh, you're playing a game or what have you you can uh, you know you can pretty much reach every button imaginable with your thumb of course has a button on the side right here that you can use with your pinky I usually just use my uh, index finger right there you just click it and it's good to go of course this this is your DPI switch which is also programmable these two buttons right here on the side of the uh, clicks on the side of the scrolling wheel is also programmable and your click wheel is also programmable up to three buttons so this right here is your mode you click that to switch the mode and you then you can program these keys to whatever you like this is the bottom of the mouse right here so like I said this is a completely plastic mouse so um, nothing heavy about it uh, there's they've completely abolished the uh, the weight system that the uh, MMO7 used to have so uh, which was a feature that I really really wish that they would have uh, would have put on this mouse but uh, regardless like I said the ability to have all of these buttons in one mouse is super super duper convenient and that just kinda crushes the MMO7 um, altogether uh, which is why I use this mouse now um, and the, of course the only thing that is adjustable on this mouse is the palm rest so that's the only thing that's adjustable uh, unfortunately but as I said before um, if having a ton of buttons at your command is your thing then this is definitely the mouse for you um, there are indentions on the buttons to make them seem uh, easy to feel for and, and rememorize um, of course these these two buttons right here is kind of the center of the whole thing right here and uh, that helps you kind of remember your where your where your thumb is at which is uh, which is a nice feature so other than that um, 
that's pretty much what you're getting with this mouse. So, so like um, I said, it's an MMO tournament edition mouse by Batcats for you. You would really just have to buy it and uh, try it out and see for yourself. Um, I got this mouse on Amazon, I think it was for $100 or $90, something like that. Um, the mouse has been good to me, so I've been using it for a few months and, uh, and I like it, so won me over. I had to chunk my MMO7 to the side and use this one. So, um, like I said, if you, you really just have to try this mouse out to feel it in your hands and actually use it and play a couple of games with to really get the feel for it. But overall, it's a nice mouse and I've had a good time with it. So, um, like, there are some things that I wish they would have added that they didn't, but you know, uh, maybe with this year's iteration of MMO mouses, they will add something uh, something like a weight system or something uh, similar coming up so you never know with math cats because they're making pretty awesome products here lately so um, other than that guys thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe rate and all that good stuff and leave me comments down below if there's something that I missed or something that you want me to review so uh, so I appreciate everybody watching and see you again